There is no case. There's no case. That is a, nothing more than a political witch hunt. Yeah, new questions about the legal and political path ahead for former President Trump after his historic court appearance for dozens of felony charges related to hush money payments from 2016. Tennis reporter Lindsay Kennett live in the newsroom tonight with reaction from our local lawmakers. Lindsay? This all comes as the race for the White House is just beginning and Virginia lawmakers are getting ready to battle it out as every seat in the Virginia General Assembly is up for grabs this fall. I spoke with lawmakers on both sides of the aisle. Hear what they have to say about how this indictment could impact voters at the polls. There is no crime. Former President Donald Trump speaking to supporters after he pleaded not guilty to 34 felony criminal charges of falsifying business records in an unprecedented court appearance in New York Tuesday. It's an insult to our country. Back home in the Commonwealth, local and state lawmakers reacting. Republican Congressman Ben Klein tweeting, the radical left are trying to weaponize our judicial system against their political enemies. Democratic Senator Tim Kaine releasing this statement to 10 News, writing, quote, no one is above the law and President Trump will have to defend himself in court. All legal proceedings should be fair and impartial and follow the facts. The question now, how will the charges affect Trump's run for president in 2024 and how will voters respond? Trump lost Virginia by wide margins in the last two presidential elections, though Virginians elected Republican Glenn Youngkin to the governor's office last year. This fall, every seat in the Virginia General Assembly is up for grabs. Virginia Senator Mark Peake, a Republican, says the indictment sets a bad precedent. I am shocked, actually. Republican delegate Ren Williams calling it a political witch hunt. None of these charges will actually stick. Both say they doubt the charges will hurt Trump's run for president. Just uh, shot his positives through the roof. Almost guaranteeing Donald Trump the Republican nomination. And could even drive conservatives to the polls this fall. We are all fighting to make sure that Republicans come out on top in both the House and the Senate. Legal experts say even if Trump is convicted, he can still run for the presidency. The U.S. Constitution does not disqualify a candidate with a felony conviction from serving as commander-in-chief. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you.